Hello Paleans and welcome back to my channel. Today we are looking at some spool builds to give you inspiration for decorating outside of your home. We've done a few interior speed builds but I thought maybe people would be struggling with what to decorate outside on their plot. So I've got a few different ideas for you today and I'm going to showcase them for you and hopefully this will give you some inspiration. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new here for more paleo build inspiration and just general cozy gameness but without further ado let's take a look at these so this first build is a little coffee shop setup i have used the magic market store here but if you weren't playing when the magic market was live you could replace this with one of the items from refs that you purchase with medals he's got like a little cart thing or you could just use a normal table behind this i have got the makeshift kind of gazebo pergola type thing and I think that this just helps create like a stool area. So if you don't have that, I think it would still look great if you just had the normal stool, but I do like it being undercover. There is a whole kitchen back there, so you can actually go back in. You can pretend that you're serving things to your paleon visitors. And then we obviously have some seating area out front. You could go to town, you could add a lot more snacks than what I've done. I have also used the grimoire to act as like a menu, so I've put that on its own little stand and then we've got lots of foliage. I decided to go for a blue theme here to match the Maggi Market stall, but I think you could really go to town with anything that fits this. I love this little idea and I think it would be really nice if you're going to go for more of like a, maybe like a city kind of vibe on your plot, trying to have lots of different areas and having like a little coffee store or a snack stand is a great way to go. The next build that we have is inspired if you're going for more of like a woodsy feel for your plot and this is a campfire area and I just think this would be a really nice little build to have surrounded by trees, have lots of kind of foliage if you have any left on your plot but just <laughs> do what best you can. Please bring us foliage, Paleo. Um, and then we have the campfire in the center, lots of seating around, we've got some drinks, scattered around some flames just to add some light because I want it to look nice when it's glowing at night time. I've also got the loot in there because I think it'd be nice to sit around the campfire and have a good old sing song. I just really love this little idea. It's so you could do it as small as big as you want but I just think it's nice cozy and I've even added in some deer models as well just to give it the feel of that foresty kind of aspect of it. For number three, we have a farmer's market area, which I, of course, I've gone to town with all of the pumpkins. I tried to add in some other vegetables, but there just isn't that much of a choice when it comes to them. So pumpkins, it is. This kind of fed into more of an autumnal color scheme as well. So we've got some reds and some browns as well. I decided to use the outhouses to try and create like a little stool. I don't want to just put the makeshift pagoda everywhere, A, because I don't have them, and B, I wanted to make these builds kind of accessible for everyone so I've gone in with the makeshift outhouses and face it towards and then I've added in the little screen at the back there just to add in a little bit of backdrop obviously we've got tables filled with the pumpkins and then I've added in some of the veggie boxes the wheelbarrows and then just scattered even more pumpkins down the bottom I've added in some of the wheat pots as well just just to give it a bit more of a foliage and some different heights I just think this is a really really cute area and again if you're looking to kind of create a plot where it's not just all about the house you want to have different stalls maybe you want to make a market plot this would be a really really cute little build again you could definitely extend it make it even bigger maybe we will get some new kind of food items that we can use to decorate with that would be great if you want to create somewhere for your friends to come hang out why not create a bar I've used the Capital Chic Furniture to create this one. Historically, I'm not the biggest fan of this set of furniture, which is why I wanted to do something to challenge myself, to kind of change my mind about it. And I think this kind of has. This is like a little bar set up. We've got the chapper serving you food and drink. Who wouldn't want that? And then we have lots of food, drinks, little items on the bar as well. And then obviously we've got the stools, which I feel is just obviously how you would have a real bar. I've tried to add in lots of bottles. I tell you now, getting clay for these bottles was a nightmare, but I just really like the way this is set up. You could have even more tables out the front, make it feel like a nice big open area, maybe kind of surround it in with some fencing, some trees, just to make it feel like 
his very own bar setup. But I love the idea of having this and then inviting a whole bunch of people over to your plot to party. For number five, we have a chapa picnic area. Obviously, you could do this without the chapas if you wanted to. Just have like a nice foresty little picnic area for you to chill, eat some food and relax. I've gone for a chapa feel because I had lots of plushies and I wasn't sure what to do with them. So I decided to make it that kind of theme. And then we have the fountain as well from the rewards for signing up, getting people to sign up as well. So that's the focal point. And then we have the blankets outside. If you don't have the makeshift blankets, then you can definitely use blankets that you've purchased from the night market and then just add in some items. Obviously, if you don't know, you can place down quality, five star gold quality food items. So that definitely helps fill out the area and all of the kind of bottles, the teapots and stuff that we can craft using clay, you can pop down as well. I also added in some little lights just to light up the area when it comes to nighttime. I just think that that's really nice as well. And lots of trees, so make sure you're chopping those trees to get those seeds and plant them, because that definitely helps. And then number six, we have an outdoor dinner area. I have a setup like this inside my home and it's very kind of cozy, shall we say. It's quite hard to get around. So I thought, why not have it outside as well? Make sure that you've got lots of space, lots of tables. I love using different styles of chairs. I just think it makes it feel a bit more rustic. And then we have got the table in the back because it just felt a bit wrong to just have a table slap bang in the middle. So I thought, why not have like a nice little decor area which could be used to separate off different areas on your plot if you wanted to. I have gone for kind of an autumnal feel. Again, we've got lots of oranges and reds here, but obviously you could use whatever customizations you like. I just think that color palette works really Really nicely with the woods tones in the game but yes we've also got lots and lots of food items again I did do a lot of cooking for this video as you can probably tell and these candles from the pumpkin the autumn kind of market thing are very very cute and work perfectly great accent piece to your tables this is just another wonderful little area that I can just imagine getting lots of use from your friends I keep struggling with how to make my crafting areas look pretty so I decided to make that one of my challenges for this video. As you can see I've got my DIY table, my customization table here and then I also got the table from Tish as well which I just think is a nice addition and then I wanted to add like little tables it kind of creates like a bit of an art shape which I think is quite nice and makes it look a little bit cozy and then we've added in some different items which I think kind of I wanted to make it feel like it was a workbench area so I added in the trophies for the furniture making just to make it feel like there's some tools there. Hopefully we'll get some tools or something that we could place out in the future and then we've just got some makeshift items as well just to fill out the area. I've used lots of the screens, lots of the industrial foliage planters as well just to add it in and then I've just added in some stools and stuff because you know crafting making stuff is hard work so why not take a sit down and some of the chests as well because the colors worked really perfectly but yeah if you're looking for inspiration for a diy crafting area then maybe something like this would work you could obviously add in your crafting machines as well if you wanted to for number eight, I decided to create a little bit of an outdoor study area, somewhere that you could go. Look all the bugs that we've collected in the game. Something that kind of works nicely with the whole maybe witchy kind of feel. You could definitely do this kind of style build in your house, but sometimes it's fun to have them outdoors as well. Nothing has to make sense. You can have an outdoor study area if you want, even though your books might get a little bit wet in the rain. But anyway, I think it looks cute. I think it is really nice when it's surrounded by the trees, just making it feel a little bit woody maybe have it like in a hidden spot that would be kind of nice as well so we've got some bookcases here I decided to go for the pink colorization the berry colorization on them just to make it pop a little bit more and we've also got the moonstruck table the grimoire the divider just to keep it in tying in with that pink color and then obviously we've got loads of bugs because that's what this is all about having somewhere to display all of those gold star quality bugs that you've managed to catch and I think it works quite nicely as an outdoor area as well I did add in the owl but that is definitely definitely optional Whilst we're on the topic of things that don't necessarily need to make sense, why not have an outdoor lounge area? If you're lucky enough to have the Valley Sunrise bed like this, I definitely 100% recommend using two of them to create like an outdoor sofa area. This is inspired by Ashlyn Bloom, who's just 
very, very talented. So I have to give a huge shout out to her because I saw it on one of her gazebo builds and I just loved it. And then we have the fencing behind and we have some plants as well, some foliage just to add some kind of more depth to the area we also have some sofas which are very comfy and they're all kind of colorized customized to make them the same kind of style i think the pink the calathera and the berry customizations work wonderfully together so this is more of like an elegant somewhere that i could imagine being fed grapes type of seating area as opposed to a rustic one but i think it looks really really nice and it's a great place to come relax sit and enjoy and finally for number 10 we have a little outdoor bathtub area i know this is a bit of a strange one but i do love this moonstruck bathtub and i thought why not it looks like it belongs outside so why not have a little outdoor bathroom set up sitting in the bath under the stars i think that would be lovely i think that would be really nice and it definitely fits more towards the kind of witchy cozy cottage quarry aspect of theming if you're wondering what to do for those sorts of themes I definitely think this works nicely. I did choose the berry customization just because I feel like it matches the inside of the bathtub but this would look really nice with like an autumnal theme as well. I just think it'd be really really cute and very very cozy so if that's what you're looking for definitely bear this one in mind. It's just a nice little space filler option definitely. And we have a bonus little build here, which I'm not sure is going to be for everyone, but um, I have a big fandom for portalies ever since my Animal Crossing days. So this is a Palea Portaloo Shrine. <laughs> But you could do any other kind of shrine, whatever takes your fancy. But yeah, lots of candles, lots of foliage. I kind of think it turned out a little bit pretty. Maybe the prettiest Portaloo shrine I've ever seen, if there is any other existing in the world. But here we go. That is my Portaloo shrine. I hope you enjoy it. So there we have it. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed these builds. Let me know what you're building on your plot currently. I would love to hear it. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.